Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to be putting in a sump pump in a crawl space. We've got our M53. Need a few parts here, just you know, the inch and a half uh, fittings and pipe and a check valve. And we'll be going over to the job site. Let's take a look. Show you guys how to do this. It is really simple. Take you maybe an hour by yourself and you'll be done. Solve that crawl space problem. If you look carefully over there, you'll see a core. There's an old terracotta pipe that runs through the through the wall right on top of the foundation actually about a brick above and of course water has to flood you know up into that pipe before it can discharge you can see how muddy it is so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a sump pit right here and then we're going to put a sump pump down in there gravel all around the pit come up we're going to go right through this brick wall that's where we'll discharge to we'll go on the outside we'll drill back through the through the brick to bring it inside. So let's get started. So you can see we quickly fill up a bucket. We'll take that bucket, lift it out, pour it in a wheelbarrow. That way we can get rid of our soil, keep our buckets back down in the trench or in the crawl space so that one guy can keep digging the pit. Take him about an hour to dig that, maybe 40 minutes. This soil is really hard. Once it gets down there a little ways, a little bit, it'll be a, a little bit easier. So while those guys are digging the pit and removing the soil, we're going to go ahead and use our hammer drill with a two-inch diamond core bit to core this foundation wall. And the way that we find the measurement for that is we're six bricks over. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and we want to, don't go too high, we want to be down here at this level, so I already put an X there. We want to go right through the center of this brick, and this will be for the discharge of the sump pump. We'll bring the inch and a half pipe out, go down into the ground, and we're just going to discharge it you know, right out here into the yard. So, so let's get started. make real quick work of core in that brick you can see we're all the way through you can see Chuck in there digging this is where we're going to put our inch and a half PVC great tool Bosch hammer drill you can rent this at any home depot or tool rental about 40 bucks for four hours and then of course they charge you for that diamond core but it's like nine bucks It'll sure make your life easy. Okay, so with your core drilled through the foundation, here's your two inch hole. That is the exact outer diameter of our inch and a half. We can slide this right through. You can see it goes through there really easy, in and out. And what we'll do is go inside, we'll plumb the sump pump from the pit up and make the connection inside, come out, we'll cut this off, goes down into the ground. And basically we're just gonna discharge you know, out here into this uh, natural area. So here's our sump uh, hole the, for the pit. You can see we got it down there pretty good. Here's where we cored the foundation. And we had, as you can see, that's the discharge. We're almost done. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set up our Zoller M53. It's called a Mighty Mate. One third of a horsepower, very powerful pump. Cast iron body very heavy actually for its size and um, get this wire this cord out of here and as always first thing we're going to do is put a threaded threaded male inch and a half adapter which goes right into the discharge of the pump and we just screw that in hand tight Next, we just need a piece of PVC to get above this bar, a little riser. So we're gonna go ahead and just dry fit this for right now. You can see the top of it up here. And then we're gonna put the check valve on here. Check valve 
only lets water go one way. And you can see this one has a nice arrow. It says flow that direction so we know which way it goes. That goes right up here on the top. So you can see it. <clears throat> There's our check valve. Then we're going to use our 5 16 inch drill and we'll t tighten up these clamps to hold this. This is a no hub. They're just rubber adapters, but very secure, very strong. They just hold this pipe together so that you can put this type of a fitting in here. Then of course our riser will come up from here out of the pit, turn and go through the wall. So let's go ahead and tighten these clamps up. And we're almost yeah, ready to install. Sorry, this is a brute, a hefty brute. You can get these at any hardware store. They're about $25. They come with a solid lid and this is a real strong material. Works exactly the same as your sump liner from you know, the basin itself. Same size, 32 gallons, two feet deep. So what we have to do is go ahead and perforate that. So we're gonna use a big drill. We're gonna put holes all the way around it, a couple in the bottom so it doesn't float up. We're gonna surround this pit with gravel. That, that allows the water to just percolate right into your sump pump, to your sump pit. Sump pump lifts it up, takes it away. One other thing that we're going to do here is we're going to drill a four inch hole right in the side of the pit that is for the footer tile to be added in the future because I know that this, crump, this crawl space is going to need to have a footer tile. So, but right now the homeowner is just saying put the sump pump in there and a discharge, so that's what we're doing. But this will be able to attach the gravel perforated pipe, four inch pipe. Let's go ahead and drill this hole. Our, our entry point so this will be where the footer tile will attach in the future you can easily drill another hole in the other side we're actually going to give them a small piece of gravel perforated pipe that really helps the water come in when it starts to rain so you can see all the holes that we just put all over this sump liner and again what that's doing is it allows there's going to be gravel out here on the outside Water comes through the gravel, enters through the holes, into the pit, some pump, lifts it up, carries it away. So if you remember, we went ahead and already set our sump pump up outside, this is Zoller M53. We've already got half of it done here. We're setting it down into the bottom of the pit. You can see nice solid bottom. Our float, when it fills up with water, is going to kick on and off. We've got our check valve. Now we're going to go ahead and plumb. Uh, this pipe up and over here to where we've got the core. So now we're ready to glue up our fittings. We've got our riser coming up. We're going to glue up the fittings. And you'll see how this sets up, we're running it over to the wall and then across the wall. My 90 here. Next, I'm going to glue this 90. Because this pipe, I can move around. And we're actually going to come downhill a little bit to the pump, to the pipe. So now we're ready to make our final connection. We're going to put glue on both of them. So that we can hook them up at the right proper angle, maybe. <laughs> Push and hold. Get it right up to the wall. Get rid of the cramps in the legs. <laughs> and there we go. So we've got this plumbed out. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to take this back apart. We're going to take this back apart so we can drill a hole here for the riser. We've got our pit installed. Check it out, cord, hole for the riser. We're going to snap that in place. Then we're going to add gravel 
and we're just pretty much done inside. We're going to go ahead and cut this inch and a half pipe right here, put a 90 on it. Real simple. Let's go ahead and dry fit this before we glue it. We'll put a 90 on it right here. And next, we'll make a little measurement down to the next 90 using this little guy. And all we're gonna do is send it across the ground so that it gets out here to the end of the natural area. We just use our saw as a measurement. Straight forward. Before we glue it, we always just set it up. And then we're gonna take this piece of inch and a half We'll hook it onto the bottom, and we're just going to plumb it right out through there. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. You know, we've been to this house before. I don't know if you remember the install, but here's our cut across the sidewalk, how it turns out. What we did was we installed a catch basin in the driveway right here and of course he's told us that that's working really really good so you know when you have a drainage problem you don't want to do it yourself feel free to give us a call but I promise you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it have a great day